Hi guys, it's Tammy. How are you doing? In this video, I'll bring you a love story. However, you're going to listen to it through two different narrators. Let's find out how one love story can be so different in the eyes of the two generations. Before we dig in, please take note of the four steps we're going to follow to learn English with video. Step 1. Watch the video. Step 2. Look up new words and phrases. Make sure that you understand the video. Step 3. Do exercises with the video. And step 4. Review words and phrases that you've learned from the video. First, watch the whole video to get a general idea of the story. Have I ever told you the story about how I met your grandfather? He was a charmer. I was at the park one day when this man walked up that I'd never met and said, I've been staring at you for the last hour. You're all I can think about. Oh, my heart was a flutter. This guy was just staring at me. Then he walks up and essentially says he's obsessed with me. I took him for a playboy, so I declined, of course. But your grandfather was persistent. He wouldn't take no for an answer. I told him flat out I wasn't interested, but he wouldn't take a hint. He sent two dozen roses to my office. I show up to work, and there are two fucking bushels of roses on my desk. My coworkers thought my mom died. He finally won me over, and I agreed to go out with him that night. I said I would have one drink with him in a public place. Next, let's break down the narration in our second step. Have I ever told you the story about how I met your grandfather? He was a charmer. I was at the park one day when this man walked up that I'd never met and said, I've been staring at you for the last hour. You're all I can think about. Oh, my heart was a flutter. My heart was a flutter. Flutter is a quick flapping or vibrating motion. Saying, my heart was a flutter, or my heart flutters, means you're experiencing a strong feeling of excitement or anxiety. For example, the look in his eyes made my heart flutter. So, if someone makes your heart flutter, you find that person very physically attractive and you feel excited when you see them or talk to them. With eJoy, you can look up not only a word, but the whole phrase to get the exact meaning, just like in the case of, my heart was a flutter. You can also save it for further learning by clicking the blue button. This guy was just staring at me. Then he walks up and essentially says he's obsessed with me. I took him for a playboy, so I declined, of course. But your grandfather was persistent. Take someone for something. This phrasal verb of take means to believe something, usually wrongly, about someone or something. For example, she looks so young, so I took her for your younger sister. Playboy usually indicates a rich man who spends his time and money on luxuries or the pleasures of nightclubs, expensive holiday resorts and female company. For example, before Tony became Iron Man, he was really rich. He was a multi-millionaire playboy who loved himself way more than other people. It can be used to imply a man who is given to pleasure-seeking and sexual promiscuity. For example, Seriously? You have a crush on Max? Don't you know that he's just a playboy? So, the grandma admitted that she had had the wrong impression of the grandpa when they first met. He wouldn't take no for an answer. I told him flat out I wasn't interested, but he wouldn't take a hint. Flat out. This phrase is used as an adverb, and it means as fast or as hard as possible. For example, the team is working flat out to satisfy the demand. 
It also means directly, without trying to avoid offending or upsetting people, like in the video. For example, Nick said flat out that he didn't believe me. Take a hand. This phrase using the word hand means to become influential in determining something. For example, her decision doesn't take a hand in the outcome of his plan. He sent two dozen roses to my office. I show up to work and there are two fucking bushels of roses on my desk. My coworkers thought my mom died. He finally won me over and I agreed to go out with him that night. Win someone over. This phrasal verb with win means to gain the support of someone or to convince someone to like you especially when the person was previously opposed to you. For example, Does Kate's mother like you? Nah, I don't think so. I hope to win her over with my sense of humour. Okay, we've just done the first two steps. If you want to know how the love story goes, Visit the eJoy Go website to see the full length video and do the third step. In this step, you're going to do some exercises with the video. You can choose to do quizzes to improve listening comprehension, do dictation to practice bottom up listening or listen for details, or practice speaking skills. All the links you're gonna need can be found in the description section below. In the fourth step, you'll have to review all the vocabulary you've picked out from the video every day to ingrain them in your long-term memory. Because even if you can listen to and understand the entire video, you haven't really remembered all the new words you've learned from it. So. Do the daily challenge and review them every day on the eJoy app or eJoy extension. Alright guys, if you find this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up. As always, let us know what you want to learn next time. See ya!